Hi everyone, we're Tim and Hannah, your mission partners in North East Brazil and South Sudan. This is a short video to update you on our ministry in Serra da Torre, Quilombola community in Custodia. Good morning everyone, we're here on our way up to Sabar on the very bumpy dirt track up to the Quilombola community and this morning we're going to be doing family visits and also a Bible study in the community. Here's a little glimpse of the route up to Sabah. We make the journey to Serra da Torre, Quilombola community in rural northeast Brazil three to four times a week together with a group of people, uh, mainly young people from the Betel church in the city centre very hot and dry at this time of year. Our winter season is just ending so it's still cooler at night but um, getting quite hot up to the 30s in the day and the whole of the uh, countryside is turning brown and dry and very dusty and here we are outside the, the front of the church building and I'll take you on a little tour through the church. That's the cistern at the back of the church collecting the water from the roof um, especially good during the dry season and this is the mission guest house where we have three bedrooms bathrooms kitchens for receiving people from the city and then going into the church the kids sunday club room and um, we've got two of those two bathrooms and um, that's the front door and going to the other kids room and here's the main church uh, hall uh, which is already in use as you can see and out through the side door seeing all of that land there where we can grow corn and beans. Prayer request for September 24. Pray for Seheda Tohi community and especially for Betel Church as we do a month of mission and outreach. Pray for Josue, the leader here and his family. And also pray for all the visits and activities of the church, especially on the 21st of, this, of September, which is our church's birthday celebrations, that many new faces would come through the doors and all would be blessed. Thank God for his generous provision so far of all we've needed for the church construction project and pray that we will receive all we need so that this building can be used for his glory and to shine a light and for his living water to flow through us to this community.